Here's a song from our Alaska Road Show, written by written by a fellow in New York that uh, went, goes out on the sloop Clearwater after Pete Seeger and the gang. And now, a lot of times, it's a lot of fun when you get out there in the back in these folks singing circles and you're doing all the old song and someone says, I know an environmental song. And they sing a wailing song, right? Well, it happens a lot. Anyway, well, this guy knew that, knew that uh, experience a lot, and he rewrote the wailing song for us, uh, updated a little bit here. Let's see if I can. <clears throat> Call me the whale, for that's what I am and what I aim to be. You may call yourselves the kings of the land, but I reign over the sea, brave boys, but I reign over the sea. Well, you came after me with your matchstick boats and your harpoons poised for the kill. When I looked you in the eye, I never saw you cry, but I know I gave you a chill, brave boys, I know I gave you a chill. And I never really meant you any harm, brave boys, when I sent you to the bottom with my tail. I was only trying to show you that you should have stayed at home instead of on the ocean chasing whales, brave boys, instead of on the ocean chasing whales. But you never learned your lesson, and more and more you came till I ran out of places to hide. When your boats got so big, I could not bring you down. I knew that you had turned the tide, brave boys. I knew that you had turned the tide. And now you hunt me down with your factory ships. You never even touch me with your hands. In the morning, I am playing with my babies in the waves. The afternoons, I'm packed into your cans, brave boys. The afternoons, I'm packed into your cans. And you've gotten so efficient with your implements of death that now I'm barely alive. But if you treat each other the way you've treated me, I think I'm going to survive, brave boys. I think I'm going to survive. Call me the whale, for that's what I am and what I aim to be. You may call yourselves the kings of the land, but I reign over the sea, brave boys. But I reign over the sea. <laughs> Paul Kaplan, Paul Kaplan's song, New York City. Slip singers. There's a, there's a song of, about one of my favorite creatures. It's, I've always liked turtles. I've had a fondness and affection for turtles that goes way back to... And I never realized how important turtles were in the scheme of things. And my gosh, sea turtles, sea turtles for instance. Native Americans thought so much of sea turtles they called this whole continent Turtle Island. Wow. I mean, we call it mythology. They called it religion. And actually, I kind of like the turtle idea. Remember, they, they came up with this turtle idea thousands of years before we came up with the flat earth. I, uh. Now, many other cultures believe in, believed in turtles, still do. I guess. I prefer it, actually, a lot of all of the rumors going around. Especially those new ones. Same sea turtles that have done so much for so long. In the last 60 years are almost vanishing. All but one species of sea turtle is highly endangered. Well, they get in the way of shrimp nets, doggone it. And they should be able to digest plastic. They've done so well out there and coped so long. And then there's the question, well, what do turtles contribute? Indians believed a long time ago that the world was floating through space. On the back of a turtle that kept it from sinking, kept it in a safer place. Turtles were special and thought to be wise from the ages that lived in their eyes. From the back of their shell, they would keep us so well. In fact, they would keep us alive. We 
are the children of Turtle Island, a story that's old and that's new. On Turtle Island, there's a turtle smiling, carrying the world for you, carrying the world for you. Turtles can migrate from ocean to ocean, travel thousands of miles in the sea. Call from their shells and seven years later come back to the very same beach. Nobody knows how they remember their way. It's a scientific mystery. Charles Darwin and others became turtle lovers because turtles they felt held the key. And we are the children of Turtle Island, a story that's old and that's new. On Turtle Island, there's a turtle smile and carrying the world for you. Carrying the world for you. Tortuga boy grande. outlive the dinosaur kings with millennium stored in their genes but like so many creatures on the brink of extinction we're losing the turtles of the sea and now the tables are turning the story is returning as mythology mixes with fact that the fate of the turtle the fate of the island is now resting on our back and we are the children of Turtle Island, a story that's old and that's new. On Turtle Island, there's a turtle smile, but their world is depending on you. Like so many creatures on Turtle Island, the world is depending on you. Thank you, thank you folks. <laughs>